Welcome to lesson 8.4, the last lesson in this geometry credit, where we're going to be covering the mid-segments of triangles. So uh, here's the big idea in this part of the uh, credit. We're using the triangle mid-segment theorem, and all the triangle mid-segment theorem says is if you take this side, if you take side CA, for example, and you find the midpoint right there at X, and you, you, you do the same thing, for the uh, for the other leg here, CB, and then you find the midpoint, which is right there at Y. Well, that segment XY, right, from X to Y, which I'm making green right now, is going to be exactly half the length of A to B. Right, so it kind of works out interestingly, right? So if this is 4, this is 2, right? And, or... Uh, if this is um, 10, this is going to be 5, and so on and so forth. And, and the opposite is true as well. If you know that this is, um, if you know this is 3, then this is going to be 6, right? So um, really interesting theorem there. Oops. Well, I don't know what happened to my screen there. Let's try to flip it back over. So... Um, let's jump into oh, the return questions uh, they did for us. So uh, unfortunately, we can't really get through any of these um, examples here to try on our own. Let's let's jump into your turn uh, question number three. They want us to find uh, V W, right? V W. So uh, if we know that V W right here is four y plus seven, right? And um, let's see, then if that's 4y plus 7, then this also right here, by virtue of being parallel, right, is also going to be 4y plus 7. And um, then this right here is also 4y plus 7, right? Um, well, the full length, we're told, is 12y minus 14. So let's set up the equation that we need. It's going to be... 4y plus 7 plus 4y plus 7 is equal to the full length, 12y minus 14. So that will help us solve for y, which in turn will, will help us solve for vw. So let's combine like terms here. Those 4y's are going to join together, and those 7's are going to join together. So we're going to get 8y plus 14 equals 12y minus 14. Uh, there's variables on both sides, so I'm going to move the smaller one here first. That'll make that go away. We get 14 equals 4y minus 14. Then I'm going to add 14 to both sides. We should get 28 equals 4y divided by 4. We should get 7 equals y, and then we're going to plug it right back in there. All right? So 4 times 7 plus 7, so this is going to be 28 plus 7, which is 35. So VW is going to equal 35, right? So um, uh, hopefully that made sense to you. And then let's uh, do the next one, find YZ. Uh, same diagram and same idea, right? We have, um, we have VT right here, which is 7X minus 17. And if that's, and we can kind of, Bring that over here, right? If that's 7x minus 17, this is 7x minus 17 too, right? So combine those, set them equal to 8x plus 12. So um, 7x minus 17 plus 7x minus 17 is going to equal 8x plus 2. Let's combine like terms. So variables uh, or terms with variables and terms without variables. So 7x plus 7x is going to give me 14x. Negative 17 plus negative 17 is going to give me negative uh, 34 equals 8x plus 2. Uh, let's move the smaller one, subtract 8x from both sides. We That goes away. We get uh, 6x minus 34 equals 2. And then we're going to add 34 to both sides. This goes away. We get 6x equals 36 divided by 6. We get x equals 6, and then we're going to plug that x equals 6 right back into there, right, to find yz. So 
uh, it's going to be, what is this, 8 times uh, 6 plus 2, 48 plus 2, so this is going to be 50. So yz is going to equal 50.